are the whereabouts of a former Myanmar State Council Aung San Suu Kyi and President Win Min remain a mystery. A days after the military said they had been moved out of their prison cells. The official reason was to help them, both in their advanced age, to cope with extreme heat. The Myanmar military spokesman was quoted by local media on Wednesday on the prison transfer, but he gave no further details about where they might be. A news of the prison move quickly spread and had been covered widely by news agencies worldwide. Days later, though, some sources say Ms. Suchi is still in prison and not in house arrest. More CNA's Leong Waikit joins us in the studio. Waikit. What are your sources? And earlier you mentioned you've got both within Myanmar and outside Myanmar. What are they saying about where exactly Ms. Aung San Suu Kyi and Win Min might be? Well, two of my sources tell me that they've learned that Suu Kyi is still in, uh, in prison, but not in a prison cell. Uh, she's now being held in a separate building within the prison complex. Now, we've also tried reaching out to other sources, including Suu Kyi's lawyers. Now, even then, they themselves have no idea where Suu Kyi is. And this really paints a picture of the Myanmar today. On the extreme end, you've got people being killed by airstrikes, by violence. You've got people every day trying to, uh, you know, eke out a living, people trying to run away from, from conscription law. And for, for journalists, it is extremely difficult to get access to information. All right. Uh, access to information, but what we do get, Mm. And then picking up from what you're saying, the difficulties we're seeing, so hard to eke out a living. And that's because you've got insurgencies on multiple fronts. We're hearing that Thailand trying to step in to help. Miss Suu Kyi, where is she? We do not know. No confirmation on that. They have given her jail term reduction. And now this, did it happen? Did it not happen? Prison mm. transfer and elections, which heaven knows we've been talking about it for the longest time. Where is the military? What is its strategy? Based on what's happening now, the strategy it's using, I can, f- I, I can tell you two things about the strategy. One, they still see Suji as a formidable force. So they're using her as a bargaining chip. That's one. Two. Who with? Sorry? Who with? Who are they bargaining with? With the world. the world. With the international pressure that they're facing because internally they're facing a lot of pressure. So the bargaining chip with, with the world using Aung San Suu Kyi. Two, they, they seem to be softening on their position. And I say this because earlier this year, um, they finally sent a lower-level official to attend an, an, an ASEAN meeting. For the longest time, they've insisted it has to be uh, Min Online or a junta-appointed foreign minister. And recently, uh, in March, during the Armed Forces Day, Mi, Min Online's tone against his opponents was less harsh. In the past, he had used words like annihilate their opponents till the end. So this tells me that along with Suchi's move. This tells me that they're softening because the backdrop of, of this context is that the, the Tatmadaw, the army, is weakened because it's losing territory, it's losing troops, it's being bombed by their opponents. And one of my sources tells me that very soon, Suchi may be expected to meet uh, officials from China or Thailand, but that development remains to be seen. All right, finally, a very quick answer, and you know how short we are on time. Uh, Thailand's Prime Minister recently saying, when someone is weak, he's referring to the Myanmar military government. Do we crush? Do we engage? He said, my answer is to engage. You agree with him? Time to engage? <laughs> well, this has been a question put to various ASEAN member states. Some are divided by saying you cannot not engage the Myanmar army because they are the ones who cause problems. Others are saying that you cannot engage them because they are the ones who took over the country and therefore they have to remain banned from ASEAN meetings. But again, we'll see how things develop from now. And thanks so much for all that. Leong Waikit here with us in the studio.